-hmm. All right, today we're going to talk about what goats like to eat. Um, as you can see behind me, I have a ton of grass out in this field. And the goats will eat grass, they will graze grass, but when people ask, are goats grazers or browsers? They are definitely browsers. Browsers are animals that prefer broadleaf, and they like to have their head up and eating a little bit higher. Grazers like sheep and cattle will eat the grass closer to the ground. And uh, as we run out of forage for the goats, uh, they will start grazing the grass more. And actually they do eat a lot of this grass right now. The tall stands that have the seed on top, they love picking that off because it's a lot more nutrient dense. But you can see with all this grass here, if I come in with these maple leaves, which is a broad leaf, they are definitely enjoying that. Uh, so uh, they are definitely uh, browsers as opposed to grazers. And contrary to what you see in the cartoons and what a lot of people believe, where it's that people like goats will eat anything, actually goats are fairly selective. They only eat plant sources. My chickens that you see here, they will eat anything. If I bring stuff off the table from the kitchen, they will eat meat, they will eat cheese, they will eat dairy, they will eat vegetables, the chickens will eat every, anything. But the goats, they're just going to eat uh, vegetation, plants, and pre preferably broadleaf. Uh, also, the perspective, part of the perspective that comes that goats eat anything is just like we use our hands to feel and figure things out, goats use their mouth. So they'll be smelling and they'll be feeling with their tongue and they'll be smelling. And so a lot of times, like if I have new clothes on and a strap or something, uh, the goats will come nibble on it, not that they're trying to eat it, uh, or there's a lot of new things off I put it in the barn, a rope hanging off, a different tool. They, uh, even my chainsaw, when I set my, set my chainsaw down, my goats will almost always lick the bar of my chainsaw. Uh, they're just trying to experience things. And so that's kind of where the perception comes that goats eat anything. Uh, another thing we want to talk about there, uh, most of the day, well, goats are ruminants. They have four stomachs and uh, they regurgitate it and they'll be chewing their cud. So just before I came in here, they had come back there. This is where they relax. They sit in the sun and they just chew their cud. And then once they've digest more of it, they go out and eat. Uh, they have a very fast metabolism, one of the fastest for animals. And the joke is kind of, they're just always moving and food's coming in and pebbles are coming out the backside. It's just food in and pebbles out the backside. So they're, they're cycling stuff. So they have a very fast metabolism and they're almost always eating, whether it's their cud or vegetation. You can see they've made quick work of what we had here. Uh, one of the positive things about having goats is they they take down the broadleaf. They again they prefer broadleaf. Uh, you can see the grass is really tall here. Most of the day after they get up in the morning, they disappear over the hillside about 300 feet that way, maybe 400 feet that way. We opened up the fence, uh, and it has uh, to an area where there's more blackberry vines and other branches. So the goats will spend most of their day over there because they prefer broadleaf, and then they come back, hang out here. They relax here a little bit, then they get back up and they head back over that way. So for that reason, we're kind of considering, uh, I spent part of the day thinking about, should I get a woolless or a hair sheep that's good for meat? And they will actually uh, graze the grass. Uh, we've considered adding a cow out here. Uh, part of the problem of having a cow out here is we have such slope property and it's so wet most of the year that a cow would really tear up the hillside, although we have plenty of pasture for a cow. So we are considering putting a cow out here. We are considering putting sheep out here uh, that would be good for meat, but uh, we don't currently have a true grazer to take down all the grass. Uh, one of the benefits of a goat also is they eat tansy and tansy will kill your cattle, uh, but they can eat tansy. Now you don't want to put them out in a field that's just thick with tansy. They can't handle that much, but uh, we've, we had to clear tansy out of this field and there was a fair amount. I cleared it out by pulling a lot of it, but there's still uh, shoots coming up here and there. And I've gone out each of the last two summers to go clear some more out. And you can see where they've just eaten it off and eaten it down. And uh, this small herd of goats can eat down the tansy. And so if you have a field that is not overtaken with tansy, but you want to 
uh, have it taken down. You can put goats in with it. Uh, there's several people that do that. And actually, uh, people that have blackberry fields or whatnot, put the goats in, they wipe out all that uh, broadleaf stuff, and uh, then the grass can start growing. So there are benefits for that. Now our goats have taken care of pretty much everything except for the grass here. And so we might be adding a grazer here soon. Taking a break from eating right now. Another hour or so they'll get up, wander back out into the pasture and find some broadleaf to eat. Come boys! Oh, come boys! Here they come! Oh. It's the tribe! <laughs> They're so cute. And there's the broadleaf phenomenon. If you got any value today, please hit the like button. It does help us out on the algorithm. Uh, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching included horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion.